Hey guys, so today I'm going to be demonstrating the use of a program called Shred. The purpose of this program is to make sure that files are completely removed from your hard disk drives and external hard drives. Because some people don't know this, but when you delete a file from your hard disk drive or external hard drive the quote unquote usual way, you're not actually removing the contents of your file from that device. You're actually just removing the reference to it from the file system but the actual physical contents of the file still reside on your uh, hard disk drive or external hard drive until they are overwritten. So the program Shred basically overwrites every single space on a hard disk drive uh, to make sure that there is uh, no possibility that your old information can be recovered should you sell that hard disk drive on somewhere like eBay or, or give it to someone else. And there's, of course, a lot of sensitive information that you can find on um, your hard disk drive or external hard drives. Most notably, information that could get people uh, to basically hack into social media accounts or banking accounts, PayPal accounts, that kind of thing. So it's always a good practice to make sure that your personal data is kept safe. And this is a tool that we use uh, to make that so. So Shred, as far as I'm aware, is available on most Linux distributions installed um, as uh, part of the, the overall operating system, the overall distribution. However, it is a command line utility, so I'm going to be demonstrating the use of this program using the command line. Uh, this should be okay for every person to follow. It's not a particularly advanced program, but it is one that I find quite useful. So I'm just going to use this uh, virtual machine that I've uh, spun up. This is Manjaro Mate edition. This is just the first ISO that I had to hand. Um, but uh, you just simply go to uh, whatever operating systems it is uh, command line terminal. So in Manjaro Mate, it is simply down to system tools out of applications and then the Mate terminal here. So we need to go into super user mode and you want to be very, very careful when entering this command and the administrator password because you are messing around with shred it is very possible to accidentally wipe a hard disk drive that you don't want to wipe so you want to make sure that you know the exact device you're referencing because there is no way to undo this so we can list our drives by just typing fdisk dash l or fdisk space dash l and this lists two device here sda and sdb now I've created SDB specifically just for today's demonstration. As you can see, it's only 75.5 megabytes. Um, so the wiping of this hard drive is not going to take a very long time at all. However, uh, if you had a, like an external hard drive or even an internal hard drive that was 500 megabytes to a gigabyte, uh, it could take several hours. So we are 100% certain that the device from this information that we want to shred is SDB. If you require any further device, uh, information, um, go and look for it. You can perhaps find uh, more information when it comes to um, using the uh, operating systems file explorer uh, here, for example. But you just want to make sure, uh, or gparted is another way that you can actually take a look at the uh, information on all of your hard disk devices, just to make sure. Uh, gparted is installed on many distributions, but not always. Um, in Mate, I believe it is. gparted is just a partition manager. And it can demonstrate um, the usage of all of your devices. So at the moment, it's got uh, slash dev slash SDA here, and it's listed basically how much of the hard disk has been used. SDB, which is 75.45 or 0.5 megabytes here. This is a completely blank hard disk drive, but we are 100% certain that given the circumstances, uh, slash dev slash SDB is the hard disk drive we want to wipe. So the command in the terminal is pretty straightforward. We type shred. And we type dash V, um, and this is for the um, verbose output. So this basically lets us know the process and how the process is going every step of the way. And then we simply just type in slash dev slash SDB, and then enter. So it's overwritten three times, as you can see here, pass one of three, pass two of three, pass three of three. And although specifically, uh, you really only need to rewrite information on top of other information once uh, for it to be incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to recover. Shred does it three times by default uh, just to make sure 
um, that the information on that device is completely unrecoverable. So that is basically the demonstration. You might want to then just make sure that you're um, exited from super user mode just by typing exit there. And then as you can see, my cursor goes back to the usual user cursor. You want to be very careful when entering super user mode and you only ever want to be in super user mode or root as it's often called um, when you're doing something very important that requires you know, special privileges, but it's certainly something that you don't want to use on a, you know, day-to-day -day kind of basis unless you're a system administrator. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. There are a few other ways that you can use this program, a few other commands you can use. You can adjust the um, number of times that information gets overwritten. In fact, what you can do is you can type shred dash dash help, and it gives you all the additional commands and information that is required um, for other options to be explored with the shred program. So for example, uh, you can uh, just type in dash dash iterations equals and then a number to change how many times, uh, how many overwrites that you do. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any other uh, requests for these kinds of uh, tutorials, please let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.